So look, let's cut straight to the chase. Knowing HTML, CSS, or God forbid, JavaScript, that time is long gone. And if you or your friend thinks building a modern looking website takes months and hundreds of dollars, well, hang tight. I'll type this out, spend less than five minutes, pay under five bucks a month, and boom, here's a website. I'm here to prove that not only do you need a personal or business website, but you need it right now. Even if you're just planning to write a few blog posts. Remember, some of the most profitable sites out there started as simple blogs. Okay, hyped enough? Good. Let's talk about why you need a personal website and how to get one. But before you dive into how to make your own website and why, there's one important question to ask. Where are you gonna host your website? There are a few ways to get your site online. The most complicated, but with the most control, is hosting it on your personal computer. Yeah, you can technically turn your device into a server and let others visit your site, but you'd need to keep your computer running 24 seven, and the level of technical know-how required is through the roof. Another way is using free providers like WordPress.com or Wix. But let's be clear, these aren't free hosting providers. They're limited web builders. And to save you a headache, there's no such thing as good free hosting. They're either scams or cleverly designed funnels to make you pay by annoying you to the nth degree. Sure, they work, but you'll be stuck in their ecosystem on subdomains with limited free plans. The good news, you can get the best of both worlds, freedom and professional support for just a few bucks a month. No bandwidth fees, no extra charges for contacting support. Hosting is so accessible these days that I gotta ask, why not start on a premium foot? I think I know your answer, and honestly, there's only one cheap hosting provider I can confidently recommend since I've been using it myself for years, Hostinger. There are a lot of reasons behind this recommendation, and I think as you watch the rest of this video, you'll understand where I'm coming from. But to be fair, the biggest reason for me is that I genuinely feel like part of the Hostinger family, not just the wallet. I'm so tired of companies giving the bare minimum and constantly raising prices. So Hostinger has been a breath of fresh air. Got a feature idea? You can just send your suggestions straight to Hostinger. Want to see what they're working on? There's a publicly available roadmap that's always being updated. Need a tool? No upsells. Everything useful is already included. Need quick support from AI or even AI fixing your web issues? It's there. And if you ever change your mind and want to leave, no long phone calls, no hoops. Just one click to cancel. Now. What you need to do is click the link in the description and grab the premium shared hosting plan with a massive discount. Go for the four year option. That way you lock in the discounted price for the longest time possible. Okay, so we know where your website will live and which company we're trusting with our information. Now let's answer why you need a personal website because that will determine how you'll build a website from here. Of course, business is business. If you wanna sell physical or digital products, go with Hostinger's website builder. Same goes for simple business landing pages, especially since you can add appointment booking features. For more complex business projects, Hostinger's WordPress will be more than enough. But for a personal website, let's be real. There are usually three main reasons to build one in the first place. Skill development, personal branding, or showcasing your portfolio. So let's talk about the benefits of having a website. First off, the best way to learn web development is by actually building stuff with WordPress. That's honestly how I learned everything I know. Just go with Hostinger's WordPress, start crafting what you want, and if you break your site, no worries. Use a troubleshooter to fix it, or simply restore one of the free backups, then jump right back into it. I'm genuinely trying to think of how you could completely break your site here, and I don't think you can. There are so many safety nets in place you can learn without stress. Personal branding is pretty self-explanatory, and you'll probably wanna focus more on the branding and marketing side rather than the coding or building part. For that, the best approach is to use Hostinger's AI website builder. Craft a unique design with AI, or just pick one of the modern, clean-looking templates. Then use the built-in AI tools to optimize both your SEO and content. I'll be honest, I really like Hostinger's templates. Don't get me wrong, the AI is super impressive, probably one of the best out there, but those templates just match my style and vibe. And yeah, you'll definitely stand out with a setup like this, instead of rocking some static default looking design. Looking at you, site one, two, three. The last reason is showcasing your work by creating a portfolio. Again, pretty self-explanatory and kind of part of personal branding. But here we take a slightly different approach. The main difference is what you're showcasing. If it's photos, text, or digital products like websites, then the easiest way is to use Hostinger's website builder. But here's the thing. Right now, the builder doesn't have the best support for videos. You can link them from YouTube, sure, but for a portfolio, you want it to look a bit more professional. 
So in that case, I recommend using a mix of WordPress and the AI website builder. And yeah, I've said it before, Hostinger lets you build your website from pretty much any angle. You go through the AI setup, it gives you a design, and then you take full advantage of WordPress to upload videos and do all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so now you know your goals and which platform to pick, but if you just want a clear do this kind of answer, go with the AI Builder. It's basically unbreakable and packed with genuinely useful tools. All right, now that we've covered where and what you'll be hosting, let's actually talk about how to make a website. Okay, moving on in this personal website tutorial, how do you set up a basic WordPress site and start learning about web hosting? Well, if you still haven't grabbed a hosting or subscription, click that discount link, lock in a plan, and then we can continue. For everyone else, once you log into your hosting or dashboard, head over to the website section in each panel. Click on add a website and choose WordPress as your platform. From there, select your preferred language and set up login credentials for your new WordPress site by entering a username and password. These will be used to access your WordPress dashboard. So make sure they're secure and easy to remember. Hostinger actually fills them in for you automatically, but I still recommend saving them in a password manager. Next, pick a theme to define your site's look. You can go with pre-made templates, classic WordPress themes, or even the default design. But since the goal here is to learn, I recommend starting with a blank template and then exploring how to find and install themes through the WordPress dashboard itself. That way you'll learn a whole lot more. If you go with themes or templates, you'll then get the option to select plugins. Feel free to skip any you don't need. I always recommend adding Yoast SEO and Google SiteKit. Yoast helps with simple SEO optimization and SiteKit collects analytics for your site and displays them in a super easy to understand way. If you choose a blank site, you won't get this plugin selection screen. Once everything is filled out, you'll be prompted to either register a new domain name or use an existing one from your account. After that, the installation begins and usually only takes a few minutes. When it's done, head back to the website section in H panel, click admin panel, and you're in. Ready to start learning inside your WordPress dashboard. Alternatively, if you want more control, especially if you're installing WordPress on a subdomain or prefer using an older version, you can use the auto installer. In H panel, go to the website section, click auto installer and choose WordPress from the list. You'll be asked to enter your site title, email, username, and password for WordPress. Then select the version you want. Pick your language and choose how you'd like updates to be handled. Both I and Hostinger recommend enabling automatic minor updates. Once you're ready, click install. After the installation finishes, your WordPress setup will appear under installed applications. Click the three dots next to it and select manage. From there, hit admin panel to open your WordPress dashboard. And just like that, your hosting or personal website is ready to go. Next up, crafting a website for personal branding is best done with Hostinger's AI web builder. The process starts the same. Add a new website, choose the builder, and begin. Hostinger will immediately ask for a website title and a short description. This info helps the AI generate a complete design with images and text tailored to your idea. It's fast and you get a polished layout almost instantly. Just make sure to spend some time refining and optimizing your prompt. If you don't know what you want, how can the AI? You can also choose from beautifully designed pre-made templates. Personally, I prefer using templates, but definitely give the AI a shot. It's one of the most impressive builders on the market when it understands what you mean. And if it doesn't, no worries, just regenerate the site. It's completely free, so go ahead and abuse that AI bot. Once your design is ready, it's time to start editing with the no-code drag and drop builder. You can move elements around, use the grid to keep things aligned and customize colors, fonts, and layout settings. The new palette tool helps you maintain a consistent color scheme across your site. And Hostinger now tracks where each color is used so you can easily make updates. You can drag in images, forms, buttons, or use pre-made sections like contact forms or product showcases. For something more custom, use the AI to generate full sections or even entire pages based on your prompt. It's fast and often impressively accurate. The AI assists you at every step of the process. You can upload your own photos, use built-in stock libraries, or even generate images directly in the builder. Though this is probably the only paid AI tool Hostinger offers. Also, keep in mind that Hostinger's web builder automatically compresses images to keep your site fast without losing quality. Same goes for the AI logo generator. It uses credits. Both tools are great, but if you don't want to spend credits, there are plenty of free alternatives online. Once your visuals are set, go through the AI-powered SEO setup to make sure your site gets noticed on Google. 
that's it. Click publish and start making your mark on the internet. The last approach I'll show is for portfolios. And here we're gonna sort of mesh together both the AI builder and WordPress. The AI automatically generates layouts, content, and imagery tailored to your needs, while WordPress allows for nearly unlimited customization. Start with a simple WordPress install like we did in the first method. Enter your brand name, select your website type, and describe your business. The AI will generate three layout options with pre-filled content and images. Choose the one that best matches your vision. From there, you can edit any generated content, images, or sections using the standard WordPress interface. The AI gives you a strong starting point that you can fully customize using the native Gutenberg editor or by installing builders like Elementor. Just keep in mind, many of these have limitations or premium versions. You'll also be able to access the AI Assistant directly from your WordPress dashboard. If you're on a business plan, it allows you to generate new content with different tones and styles. Perfect for filling out your portfolio's blog and improving SEO. And don't overlook Cody. It can generate custom code by simply describing what functionality you need. It basically acts like your own built-in chat GPT, which is super helpful. The AI also helps optimize your content by placing keywords strategically and improving page structure. But make sure to go through the Yoast SEO setup so your sitemap gets submitted to Google. And that's it. Whether you went with an empty WordPress site, Hostinger's AI Builder, or a mix of both, you should now have a personal website ready to show the world. Now all that's left is to build your brand, grow your skills, and start making that money. I also want to share some personal tips and thoughts. Starting small is honestly one of the best ways to begin your journey with a personal website or blog. You don't need to launch a huge project right away. Even a simple static site with your contact info or a few short blog posts about what you're learning or working on can go a long way. The key is just to get something out there instead of waiting for everything to be perfect. Trust me, imperfect progress beats perfect intentions every time. As you build, make it a habit to document what you learn. Write about the problems you've solved, the tools you've tried, or the processes you've figured out. Even if no one else reads it, your future self will thank you. I've written a few articles on my entertainment blog about how I built the site or the struggles I faced, and it's honestly really cool to look back on them years later. Having a record of your thoughts and solutions becomes your own personal knowledge base for when you run into similar challenges. Even if you think everyone already knows what you're writing about, it's still your knowledge. So value it and value yourself. When it comes to sharing your work, don't feel pressured to promote it everywhere all at once. Choose a few platforms that actually make sense for your audience. Maybe Twitter, sorry, X, Reddit, or a relevant forum. A well-placed link in a discussion thread or a helpful blog post shared at the right moment can bring in more meaningful attention than blanket self-promotion. Personally, I wouldn't recommend Facebook. It's overrun with bots and rarely leads to real interaction, but hey, no one's stopping you from giving it a shot. Finally, understand that creating a website is a long-term investment. The real benefits often don't show up right away. You might not see a spike in traffic or get job offers immediately, but over time, your site can evolve into a portfolio, a personal brand, or even a powerful personal website for career growth. Think of it as planting seeds. What feels small today might grow into something meaningful months or even years down the line. And man, it's such a cool feeling when someone tells you they read one of your articles or shared your images. It really makes you feel like you're part of something bigger. And all it took was starting with Hostinger's tools one afternoon. So to wrap it all up, I hope I convinced you that not only do you need a personal website, but that building one today is easier than ever. That is if you choose the right hosting provider. And the best ones actually take care of their users, just like I'm looking out for you. That discount link in the description is too. It's always updated, so feel free to share it with anyone you know who could benefit from having their own personal website. Now go spread the good word. But hey, if you want more info on how to build a website, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and leave a like. It really helps the channel. All right, that's pretty much everything. Discount links are down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.